I live in a really small, tiny country in Europe that you never heard of called Latvia. I'm right here. I want to talk about the name. I'm right here. And by that I mean I think everybody in this world wants to be noticed. Either you want to be noticed by your parents, you want to be noticed by your peers, you want to be noticed in school. Uh, maybe you're a super introvert and you only want to be noticed uh, on the internet, on your private Instagram profile or anywhere else. It's our, I think, somewhere it's our instinct to leave a mark. And as I get older, I have this craving even more and even more and even more. And as a designer and an artist, I can feel how my perception of this uh, leaving a mark is transforming. When I was younger, all I wanted to do is make t-shirts. I made stencil t-shirts, I draw them with my hand and I thought that's one way of saying I can do something, I am good at something. Uh, later on, when I started my career in graphic design, I didn't know I was gonna be a graphic designer for so long. I have been a graphic designer almost for 14 years. And now my perception of that I want to leave mark changes again. Uh, it's not not so as a material thing, but more of a inspiring people or, or raising your children where you leave a permanent mark on their, you can say destiny or how they perceive this world. Uh, meaning I can teach my kids either this is a great place to live, look at, at, it, look at it at positive side, try to be best of yourself as you can be, or I can do the opposite thing. That will stay here uh, for longer, for much longer than I will live. So my perception of living mark has transformed from making art to communication. Uh, the same way I'm right now uh, talking into this camera. And that's uh, one uh, that's why this uh, thing of talking into this camera somehow draws me in. I'm sorry for my English because English, sorry for my English because English isn't my first language and I, I, I barely use it in everyday life, so I'm, I'm sorry for that. Uh, what I wanted to say in this video, why uh, I'm right here, uh, I want to talk about these things and I want to talk about uh, creativity, I want to talk about creating something. Like, like you see right here is uh, two paintings I did five years ago, or even six. And somehow along the way I lost interest in this and found interest in this. I have been making YouTube videos in Latvian language for the past four years and this is a new challenge to try and make it. Uh, to talk to an uh, independent audience, uh, uh, an, uh, an audience all around the world, uh, because in Latvia we only, only have around a million people who speak, the same, uh, who speak our language, is Latvian language. I will bring up many topics about my country because it's very um, obscure. <laughs> I think Nobody who's watching this video knows where Latvia is and what it's all about. We have funky foods, we have, we have had many conquerors, so our food is very diverse. It's, it comes from uh, Sweden, it comes from Russia, it comes from Germany, so it's a mishmash of everything. But that's a topic for another day. I just wanted to explain why, why, why I even need a channel name. because. Um, I think it gives a theme, it's uh, more faster to recognizable than my first name or surname because they are very, I think, hard to pronounce in English language. I don't even know how to do them, so I won't even mention that. Irvin's Ellens. But this is, the, this is the first step and I, uh, I don't hope to reach 
millions of viewers and millions of everything. Uh, I, this is my hideaway place where I can speak about, uh, as I said before, creativity, uh, talk about uh, interesting places around where I live, about abandoned places, abandoned churches. That's one of my hobbies to photograph and collect these places, these abandoned churches, abandoned uh, castles, etc. Because we have many of those. Right now it's in the middle of February and it's very, very cold outside. And I think we uh, didn't have this much snow in like the past two years maybe. It's sort of strange to talk in English. I've been doing YouTube for the four last four years in my native Latvian language and it's it has been fun. I have learned many things. I have uh, how do you say it? I have I have uh, I have learned to make better videos. I have learned to make better content. I know what I can do better, what I do worse. And this is uh, like the next step, the next challenge, because I find it very interesting to find, uh, um, how do you say it, random creative persons, random creative people around the world who speak bad English like me. But I still enjoy the videos because I get to know them. I get to, get to see what they are in real life. It doesn't matter if they speak English, in English like me. So, that's like the... See how I'm struggling? That's what I want to cancel out. Because everything I do in my day, I listen to music in English, I watch Netflix in English, I read books in English. But talking is a whole different animal. So by doing this YouTube channel, I, I will try to improve my English. I will try to improve the content for viewers around the world. I still believe there is a need, at least for me and these strange times, for normal communication with other people. Uh, and it doesn't matter that we live on the opposite side of the world. I think YouTube has become this very clickbait hype a uh, place where good content gets lost and and it's my escape from my daily uh, my daily routine and from my daily viewers our uh, because our country is a bit uh, as it is very small our um, how could i say this uh, our community is very broken apart and like low income people, the middle and the very wealthy, there isn't really a middle part. There's more like everybody is more on the poor side and that brings out a lot of stress, a lot of anger and our online culture is very toxic. That's why I think about the toxic topics I want to speak to you are not suitable for my country because all I will get out of it is just uh, hate, judgment, and things of sorts. I want to uh, start... Uh, I make t-shirt designs, I make uh, logos, I make uh, posters, etc. Uh, I have... Uh, until now, I had so, so much work, I just stuffed away all my creative side and... and for a year I haven't done anything and right now I'm slowly 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 uh, coming back and this is the place I'm gonna showcase my work I'm gonna talk about old projects uh, and I hope we can meet in a uh, I want to say peaceful I want to say cr creative um, place for discussions for self-inspiration etc and I'm right here Thank you.